Welcome to the Smarter Quiz 2022, the Hindustan Times National Interschool Quiz. Hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you gathered here today. We are here with Smarticus 2022. Today we have before us two teams, both from Chennai. Padma Sheshadri Bal Bhavan Senior Secondary School from Nungambakkam, Chennai. Padma Sheshadri Bal Bhavan Senior Secondary School, Tinagar, Chennai. Beginning with the team seated first in alphabetical order of the school name, PSPB Senior Secondary School, Nungambakkam, beginning with your youngest member. Uh, my name is Advait. I'm from class 10. Uh, my interests are programming. Uh, I like reading about uh, advanced physics and maths. I also uh, solve the Rubik's Cube. Uh, I play uh, cricket and football. Hashutram from class 11. Uh, my hobbies are quizzing and uh, sports in general. I play a variety of sports such as cricket, football, basketball and many more. My name is uh, Vicky Lech. I'm from class 12. Uh, my interests are uh, quizzing and uh, I play football for school and uh, I also play cricket. Let us meet their opponents for today. The team from PSPB Senior Secondary School, Tinagar, also in Chennai. Beginning with your youngest member, can you give us a short introduction one by one? My name is Tanika and uh, my hobbies apart from quizzing are swimming and uh, writing stories. I'm in 5th standard. Hello, my name is Rishi. I'm from 7th standard. Uh, my hobbies are playing uh, sports in general. I play Mithana and Tabla and uh, I read a lot of books. Hello, my name is Rishil. Uh... Well, uh, apart from quizzing, my other ho hobbies are reading books and I also like playing cricket and drawing. Uh, I'm from 8th grade. Harshit, as team captain, what is your choice? Heads or tails? Heads, sir. Heads, am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, let me flip it. Tails is the toss. Tails it is. So the team which plays first will be PSBB Senior Secondary School, Tinagar, your opponents, led by Rushil Chandrasekhar. In order for them to begin the quiz, they need to know the rules by which we shall play this quiz. So let's take you to what we call the gameplay. Go ahead and tell me which topic would you like to play? Um, I would choose comics literature. Let's open up the box of comics. Your first question, Tandrika. Remember, you're playing this alone. About two thirds through the 1979 comic Asterix in Belgium, the skies suddenly start to turn dark, as you can see at the left, and it starts to rain. Remember, rain and darkness are always shown as signs of grief or sorrow, right? In the last panel, which you can see in the middle of the screen, a rabbit leaves the traditional feast, which always happens at the end on the last page of every Asterix book. A rabbit leaves that feast, sadly looking to his right. All these were tributes from someone for something that happened in that time, in the 1970s. What were the tributes all about? And your 30 seconds begin now. So, uh, the rabbit is leaving uh, because his uh, friends are uh, being uh, had as food. That was a very interesting answer, but not the one I was looking for. You don't have to feel upset. There are still your two teammates who can save this for your team. Going across are to Rishi and Rushil. 15 seconds beginning now. Who wants to take this and what is your answer? Is it for, uh, is it the death of Princess Diana in the car crash? Oh, death of Princess Diana in the car crash. Uh, that happened in the 90s, Rushil, not in the 1970s. We will now go across to your opponents. A PSBB Nungambakam. 15 seconds beginning now. Please choose who is going to answer and give me an answer. Uh, 
Advait, Harshit and Mithilesh. Talk clock is ticking. Tick tock, tick tock. Who wants to take this? All right, your time is up. Do we have an answer, Nangam Bakam? Is it some tribute to its uh, creator or something? The uh, one what? creator asterisk or something like that? I'm, no. I'm, it's a guess. Could I'm not be. very sure. Go ahead and tell me, what kind of tribute do you think this could be? Uh, it could be related to its death or something. The illustrators or uh, the All creator. Right. I'm not sure. Alright, let's take a look at the answer slide. What a beautiful guess that was. That's the first steal of today's quiz. One point to PSBB Senior Secondary School, Nungambakam, Chennai. We now go back to Tanrika for the second question on comics. I hope you get this. It's one of my favorite questions. How do we better know the supervillain Edward Nigma in the DC Universe, who is obsessed with the puzzles and death traps and uses, as you can see, the question mark as his visual theme. He is one of the arch enemies of Batman and usually wears a domino mask. And a domino mask is the one that you see on screen, something that only covers the eyes. Tanrika, your time starts now. Sir the Riddler. Tanrika does not wait for that clock. She says the Riddler. In fact, a quiz question also has a question mark. But Tandrika thinks this is the Riddler. Let's take a look at the answer slide and see if she is right. This is the Riddler. What a beauty of an answer by the youngest member from PSBB Nagar. The Riddler is the name of the arch villain that you saw. That's two points to PSBB Nagar. Let us go back to the grid and ask their opponents, the youngest member, to pick a topic. Advait N, you are the youngest member from PSBB Nungambakam Chennai. What topic do you want to play as your specialized topic? Uh, measuring meters. Measuring meters, uh, says Advait. Let's open up the box of measuring meters. Your first question, Advait, is this. The scientific name of what instrument, very commonly used by doctors while checking the health of a patient, is sphygmomanometer. And your time starts now. Uh, it's an instrument used to measure the blood pressure of a person. The instrument used to measure the blood pressure of a person, you say. Let's take a look at the answer. It is indeed the blood pressure machine. It is called a sphygmomanometer. Two points to PSBB Nungambakam. Let's show you your second question. John Harrison's design of which marine instrument helped sailors to keep accurate time, which was very vital for 18th century sailors who had no access to GPS and other machines. Today, a finely made watch or timepiece is also known by this same word. And the hint is, it's an 11 letter word ending in M-E-T-E-R. Your time starts now. Last nine seconds, Advait, take a guess. There are no negatives. It measures time. What do you think it could be called? All right, your time is up. Do you want to give me a guess? No? All right, we go across your teammates, Harshit and Mithilesh. So Harshit and Mithilesh, 15 seconds already started. What is your guess for a bonus attempt? The, the marine chron chronometer. Harshit says the marine chronometer. Let's take a look at the answer slide and see if we can give points for that. It is the chronometer or a marine chronometer as he so rightly said. Very, very nice. Which brings us to the end of the first two specialized topics played by the youngest members of both the teams. 
we will quickly move on back to PSBB Tnagar and ask their second person, which was going to be team captain, Rushil Chandrasekhar. Rushil, which topic would you like to play? Uh, Indus Valley Civilization. Indus Valley Civilization, says Rushil. The first of your questions coming up now. This artifact currently in the National Museum, New Delhi, is from Mohenjo-daro and is commonly known by what two-word name? Your time starts now. Uh, the Dancing Girl of Mohenjo-daro. Rushil, confident, not waiting for the clock, says the Dancing Girl of Mohenjo-daro. Let's take a look at the answer slide. Dancing Girl it is. Great answer. Let's see if you can make it two out of two. We will quickly move on to the second question from Indus Valley Civilization. This statue of an Indus priest or nobleman was recovered from Mohenjo-daro and is carved from steatite, which is also called soapstone. It is currently housed in the National Museum of which country? And your time starts now. Uh, is uh, this just a guess? Is it the UK, uh, uh, which is which is England or Great Britain? Is it the UK, which is England or Great Britain? Because they have this habit of carrying away all the artifacts from all over the world. Well, it is not the UK. I will now go to your teammates, Tanrika and Rishi. Fifteen seconds beginning now. Which one of you is going to answer, and what is that answer going to be? Eight seconds to go, Tanrika and Rishi. Um, uh, the, can I, uh, the National Museum of Pakistan. Tanrika says the National Museum of Pakistan. And why do you feel it could be Pakistan? Um, because uh, the Indus Valley civilization is uh, 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 sometimes in Pakistan and uh, Mohenjo, the city of Mohenjo Daro is in Pakistan. Okay, what a beautifully explained guess uh, because a large part of the Indus Valley civilization also was found in modern day Pakistan. And of course, Mohenjo-daro now resides on that side of the border in Pakistan. Let's take a look at the answer slide. Pakistan it is, that brings us to the end of their second choice of specialized topic. We are now going to hop across to their opponents PSBB Nungambakkam, the second person to play was going to be myth, was going to be Harshit. Harshit Ram, their team captain. What will be your choice of topic? Geography, sir. Geography. Scandinavia is the topic from the world of geography. Let's open up that box. The first of your questions is this. There are more than 1,87,000 lakes in this country, the largest being Lake Saima and the deepest being Lake Paijani. Also known as the land of a thousand lakes, which country is this separated from Sweden by the Gulf of Bothnia? And your time starts now. Fifteen seconds to go. Last five seconds, Harshit. All right, your time is up. Do you want to take the guess of the name of a country? Mm, not really, sir. Not really. No problem. We will go across to Adwait and Mithilesh. Adwait and Mithilesh, 15 seconds have started ticking. Which one of you wants to answer and what is that answer? Uh, is it Finland? Adwait says, is it Finland? Is that what your guess is? All right, let's take a look at the answer slide and see if it is Finland. Of course it is. Finland is known as the land of a thousand lakes separated from Sweden by the Gulf of Bothnia. You save one point for your team. I think your captain will heave a sigh of relief. We now go back to Harshit. Harshit, your second question from Scandinavia is this. This is the flag of the blank islands. 
which is a self-governing archipelago, which means group of islands in the North Atlantic Ocean, which are a part of the Kingdom of Denmark. What word fills the blank in the name of this territory? And there is a hint. It is an anagram or a rearrangement of the letters of Oh Fear, your time starts now. This is for Harshit. I just want the name that fills the blank and that name is an anagram or a rearrangement of the letters O oh, FEAR. 15 seconds are through. Harshit, I need a guess from you before 30 seconds. Last two seconds and the clock has run out. Harshit, do you want to take a guess? No, sir. No? Going back to Adwait and Mithilesh, you are called upon again. What do you think fills the blank? Uh, Faroe Islands. F-A-R-R-O-E. Faroe Islands. Adwait says Faroe Islands and he spells it for me, though with one R extra. F-A-R-R-O-E, he says. Let's take a look at the answer. I'm sorry, it's F-A-R-O-E. is correct. I would not have penalized you for a wrong spelling because you did give me the correct answer when you said Faroe Islands. Adwait is batting really well for his team uh, as one of the pinch hitters as we call it in cricket. That brings us to the end of Harshit's choice of topic which was Scandinavia. At the end of four specialized topics, I will give you the scores here at the third knockout of the South Zone. 5 to Tinagar, 6 to Nangambakam, Anybody's game from here on. Let's go across once more to the team which won the toss, which was PSBB Tinagar, and ask their third and final member, Rishi Kannan, which topic would you like to play? Uh, I'll take web browsers. Rishi says, I will take web browsers. Let's click on web browsers. The first of your questions on web browsers is this. According to an October 2022 statistic, Chrome is used by about 66% of internet users as their default web browser. Which browser, mostly used by Apple users, comes in second at 19%? Can I tell the answer? Yes, you can. Your clock has started ticking. The answer is Safari. The answer is Safari, uh, says Rishi. Let's take a look at the answer slide and see if he is right. Safari from Apple is correct. That is indeed the logo of the Safari browser. And Apple, the way Google has Chrome, Apple has Safari. Let's go back to the second of your questions. Which web browser's name with a 3% market share is an alternative term for the small Asian mammal that you see on screen, which is commonly called a red panda? And your 30 seconds begin now. The answer is Firefox. Firefox, says Rishi. Let's take a look at the answer slide and see if he is right. Mozilla Firefox or Firefox is correct. Two points to you. You get two points for your team. This was the first time that a topic was fully answered by the person playing it. Mithilesh, what topic would you like to play? I will go for biology. You will go for biology, which is bones. Make no bones about it. This is one of the easy topics according to the team setting it. The first of your questions, Mithilesh, is this. The hammer, anvil, and stirrup are the names of three small bones, which are collectively the smallest human bones, as a matter of fact, associated with which sensory organ of the human body? Where are they found? And your time starts now. The year. In the year, Mithilesh, I loved the look of nonchalance on his face. He is like, okay, you speak. The moment you stop speaking, before your timer is on, I'm going to answer here. Let's take a look at the answer slide. I love that confidence. Let's take a look at the answer slide and see if he's right. Of course, he is malleus, incus, and stapis, or hammer, anvil, and stirrup are three bones which are found in the middle ear. Let's go back to Mithilesh, who seems to be in fine form today. The second of your questions on bones coming up now. 
The name for which part of the human body gets its name from the Latin word for small, shallow dish? And there is a clue. The word is an anagram of late pal. 30 seconds beginning now. Palette. Beg your pardon? The palette. Can you spell it out for me? P A L L A T E. P A L L A T E. All right. Not the answer I was looking for. We will go to your teammates, Adwait and Harshit. 15 seconds beginning now. What am I looking for? Last eight seconds, Advait and Harshit. Who wants to take this? Your time is up. I need an answer quickly. No? All right. I'm going to move across to your opponents. PSBB T Nagar, which of the three of you wants to answer this and what's the answer? So, Alec. Uh, Tanrika says palate and how would you spell that Tanrika? P-A-L-A-T-E P-A-L-A-T-E Palate is what Mithilesh also said. The palate is actually the upper part of our mouth uh, with which we feel the sense of taste and that is why it is when somebody has a very good sense of taste it is said that he has a good palate. Not palate. Let's take a look at the answer slide and uh, see what the answer was. This was the patella, not the palate, the patella, which is that small, shallow dish-shaped bone, which is at the top of our knee. We call it a kneecap in common English, not palate or palate, but patella. Nobody gets points, but this was a good, good round. I love the confidence of Mithilesh when he answered the question on the bones inside the middle ear. Let us take a look at the scores at the end of six specialized topics. Right now, PSBB T Nagar has a lead of one point. They are on nine and PSBB Nungambakam are on eight. Nobody's game at this point. There are lots of questions yet to come. We are going to go back to the team which won the toss. PSBB T Nagar Chennai. What will be your choice of team play topic from the two topics that remain on the grid? PSBB Senior Secondary School, Tinagar, Chennai, have chosen Click from the world of art. Let's open up that box. The first of your questions on screen now. Paul Goresh took the last known photograph of which rock star and former member of the Beatles on December 8, 1980, when that person was signing his double fantasy album. And your time starts now. Who should I think it's Mick Jagger? A uh, what? Mick Jagger. Uh, John Lennon. Uh, was I he like a, have a... Was John Lennon a previous Beatles person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then that's... Uh, our final answer is John Lennon. Alright. Uh, Rishi says our final answer is John Lennon. In fact, his gut instinct was saying Mick Jagger. Uh, Rushil was ambivalent. He said, I have no clue about what you guys are talking about. Please discuss and decide. Tanrika sounded very confident when she said John Lennon. And uh, when uh, Rishi asked her, was John Lennon an ex-member of the Beatles? Uh, she was confident about that as well. Let us take a look at the answer and see if her confidence is correct. John Lennon, it is John Lennon, the ex-member of the Beatles. Uh, Rishi acknowledges with a thumbs up and a finger, a finger gesture which says that was a top class answer. Second question of your topic on click coming up now. On March 5, 1960, Alberto Corda photographed which influential figure at a memorial service in Havana. The image which is called Giraldero Heroico is said to be one of the most reproduced and copied on various media. Your time starts now. Russian Panrika, any guesses? No, but uh, since it's like something related to art, think on like uh, since we're already done with uh, music, we could, like, yeah, maybe, maybe um, he has a star. Maybe it's related to military. 
Last three seconds? Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't have any guesses, but I think it's someone from the Soviet Union. Okay, I need uh, an answer now. Our final answer is uh, Hitler. Hitler. Okay. Uh, that's too big a mustache to be Hitler. We will quickly go across to your opponents. Uh, PSBB Nungambakam, 15 seconds beginning now. Do you want to steal this? Who is going to answer? You, are, you can discuss amongst yourself and give me an answer by saying our final answer is. Uh, the name sounds Spanish and it's in Havana, which is in Cuba. So. All right. I need an answer now. You have two more seconds to give me an answer. Uh, sir, I think it's in a monk, Rasputin. Oh, Rasputin. Rasputin was actually Russian and he was evil, of course, but there was nothing heroic about him. Uh, this is something which goes all the way around. Nobody gets points on the direct or the bonus or on the steal attempt. You must doubtless have seen this photo on t-shirts and coffee mugs and many other media around the world. Let's show you the name of this person. This is Ernesto Che Guevara who was a partner of Fidel Castro in the revolutionary movement, which overthrew the government of Cuba. But nobody gets points. I will keep those two points for myself. For one final time, we will go across to PSBB Nungambakkam Chennai. The only topic left to play is hats from the world of fashion. We are now with PSBB Senior Secondary School Nungambakkam Chennai for what is the last of the eight specialized topics. They're going to play this as a team. Let's open up the box of hats. PSBB Nungambakam, the first of your questions on hats is this. This kind of a hat with a wide brim used to shield the face and eyes from the sun is called a sombrero. It is worn especially by men in the southwestern part of the United States and also another famous country where they call this hat a sombrero de charo or charo right. hat, referring to the traditional horsemen from that country. Which country is this? Your time starts now. It should be Mexico, sir. What? Go ahead? Uh, yeah, it's Mexico, I think. Okay. Okay. Our final answer is Mexico. Your final answer is Mexico, he says. And perhaps Sombrero de Charo means Hat of the Charos in Mexican. Let's take a look at the answer. Mexico is correct. That's a beautiful answer. Let's take a look at your second question on headgear. What is the name for a round flat hat made of soft material like wool, felt or cotton? And you can see some pictures on screen. They're frequently worn as part of the uniform of many military and police units worldwide and also by many of us as a fashion, fashion accessory. What am I talking about? Your time starts now. What are all these are examples of the same kind of hat or headgear. And very, very nicely, even Che Guevara was wearing a similar hat with that star on. Last 10 seconds. Any idea, guys? Three seconds to go. All right, Nungam Makam, I need an answer. What is your guess for this? Uh, no, sir. No? All right. 15 seconds beginning now. PSBB T Nagar. This is a test. What's your guess? Uh, uh, Dari, Dari. 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 B E R E T. Yeah, I think that it's actually yeah, it's, it's, green. green. That's all right. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, I think but, uh, all right. The time is up. I need a final answer now. Um, Our final answer is Dari. Okay, Tanrika jumps in and says, our final answer is Bere. Let's take a look at the answer slide and see if she gets points for this. Bere it is, and the spelling is right as well. B-E-R-E-T, Bere. That gives you two points. 
that also brings us to the end of all eight specialized topics from the grid. Before we go any further and play the two mystery boxes, it is my duty to give you the scores update at the end of these eight specialized topics. The score is actually 10 to PSBB Nungambakkam and 12 to PSBB Tinagar. Which of the two mystery boxes would you like to play? Yeah, okay, number two is fine. Okay, let's show you your first question. What okay. word is commonly used for the four divisions of the brain, including the frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital? Your time starts now. What is the use? Okay, uh, I, I think it's the cortex. The frontal cortex, the parietal cortex, temporal cortex, and cortex. Okay, uh, do you agree, Tandrika? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cortex, okay. final answer. Okay, uh, Rushil says the final answer is cortex. Uh, let's see if the team from uh, PSBB Nungambakkam agrees with them. Uh, Nungambakkam, any one of you, if you have any guess, do you think it is cortex or do you think it is something else? It is cortex. You think it is cortex? All right, let's take a look at the answer slide. We were not looking at cortex. They are called the lobes of the brain. Lobes is what we were looking at. Let's go back to PSBB Nagar and ask them their second question. Which Japanese dish whose name translates to sar consists of boiled rice flavored with vinegar and served cold with a variety of vegetable egg or raw seafood? And your time sushi. starts now. Sushi. Sushi. Yeah, sushi. Our final answer is sushi. Our final answer is sushi. Okay, all three of them are not taking chance. They are saying our final answer is sushi. Let's take a look at the answer and see if they are right. Sushi is correct. That gives you two points, Tinagar. Let's go and ask you the last of your mystery box questions on screen. If a philatelist collects stamps and a numismatist collects coins, what cute and lovable thing name I don't American it's, president uh, or who's does an arthropodist collect and your time starts now? Who agrees with teddy bear? Yeah, teddy bear. Final answer is okay, teddy bear. Final answer, teddy bear. Okay, and uh, why do you think they are called teddy bears? Well, Theodore Roosevelt was called Teddy Roosevelt for short because apparently there's a story that he once saved a yes. from getting shot. Yes, Theodore Roosevelt was Teddy. Teddy bear is a brilliant answer. It gets you two points and it puts you firmly in the driver's seat. This is now a mystery box, the only remaining mystery box, which is for the team from PSBB Senior Secondary School, Nungambakkam, Chennai. The first of your questions coming up now. Originally a trademark of the Kawasaki company. What is the commonly used name for this type of personal watercraft or machine? And the hint is, it's a two-word answer. Both the words have got three letters each. And your time starts now. I think it's a jet ski. Advait, you have any guesses? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, fi fi final answer is jet ski. Harshit, as captain says, our final answer is jet ski. I remember Mithilesh was in cracking form in the question on bones when he answered the ear. Let's see if he has jetted his team to two points here. Jet ski it is. One down, two to go. Very, very good so far. Let us quickly go to the second question for Nungambakkam. Which last emperor, so he was the last emperor of something, also wrote Urdu poetry under the pen name of Zafar. And your time starts now. Uh, Bahadur Shah Zafar is the last emperor of the Mughal Empire. Okay. Should you go ahead? I will go with that. Okay. Uh, Bahadur Shah Zafar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, final answer is Bahadur Shah Zafar. Your final answer is Bahadur Shah Zafar. 
Let's take a look at the answer slide and see if you've made it two out of two. Of course you have. The last Mughal Emperor, Bahadur Shah Zafar, two out of two, that puts you on 14. Nungam Bakam, you make this three out of three and we will have ourselves a battle royale to determine who goes through. Wish you all the very best. The third question coming up for you now. Rasi Puram Krishnaswamy was the father of two famous brothers. One became a novelist, the other became a cartoonist. For two points, give me the name of any one of the two brothers and your time starts now. R.K. Narayan, R.K. That's the final answer, sir. The final answer is R.K. Narayan or R.K. Lakshman who are the two famous brothers. Okay, he says, I don't want to go for one, I would rather give you both. R.K. Narayan and R.K. Lakshman because he saw that Rasipuram Krishnaswamy is R.K. as the initials. Let's take a look at the answer slide. Is correct, that ties you with your opponents from PSBB Tinagar. Very, very good answer. If there is a team which knows how to play well under pressure, it has to be a team from Chennai, as MS Dhoni and his warriors in yellow have taught us. Chennai does not fail to live up to its name of being one of the powerhouses of quizzing. At the end of eight specialized topics and two mystery boxes, it is my sheer pleasure to tell you that at this moment, both teams, PSBB Senior Secondary School Nungambakkam Chennai and PSBB Senior Secondary School Tinagar Chennai are tied with each other with 16 points apiece, which means that for the very first time in the South Zone, we are going to have ourselves a tiebreaker. You have to tell me which of the two questions would you like to play. Both think... are from the world of nature. Okay, question, question two. PSBB Tinagar chose question two from the world of nature. Let's show them their question. This famous national park located in the Nilgiri Hills in Kerala is home to many threatened species of flora and fauna, including the lion-tailed macaw. According to some sources, the park is said to get its name from the fact that there is a complete absence of the loud, noisy insects known as cicadas. Which national park is this? And your Rishi, time think, starts now. Rishi, I think it's the Silent Valley National Park. What about same, Kerala? same. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's the Silent Valley wait, National wait, wait, Park. Wait, wait, wait. wait, what do you think? Uh, 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 I think it's uh, I think it's Silent Valley. Okay. Yeah, Silent Valley National Park. Final answer. Okay. Arti Nagar says our final answer is Silent Valley National Park. Let's take a look at the answer slide. Silent Valley National Park it is. Rishi is exuberant because he was the person who was also thinking what his captain was thinking. Because the loud noisy insects were not there, it was silent. And so it was called Silent Valley National Park. Let's go across to your opponents. I have a feeling that they are going to pull deep within themselves and come up with another cracker of an answer. Now we can show you your question. The English word pachyderm, commonly used to describe elephants, rhinos, and hippopotamuses, comes from the scientific term pachydermata, an obsolete order of mammals which is no longer in use. It is derived from the Greek words for thick and blank, referring to a certain bodily feature of these animals. What four-letter word fills the blank and your time starts now? In. Yes. Dermatology. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. Skin. Skin. Yeah, and I think yeah, it's. Back stick skin. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I couldn't hear you properly. What is the. I think it's skin. Okay. SKI skin. So that's the final answer. The final answer is skin. Your final answer is skin, says Harshit. Let's take a look at the answer slide. Skin it is, the boys from Nangambakkam are not going anywhere and very, very nicely explained. I think it's one of the beauties of these school quizzes that we often overlook. That's one point to Nangambakkam, which again ties this quiz. Let's not go anywhere. This quiz is hotting up. Let's go to the second tiebreaker. This time, 
since it's a tiebreaker, we will be going across to the team which did not win the toss. PSBB Nungamba come Chennai, you get first choice of the two questions. Which of the two questions would you like to play? And remember, the theme is literature. Yes, are you are you uh, are you unanimous? Question number two, it is. Yes, sir. Yes. Question number two. Yes. Okay. Let's show you question number two for Nungambakkam. What does the abbreviation BFG stand for in the famous Roald Dahl story of the same name? And your time starts now. There was also a movie of that name, BFG. I, I think it's a big friendly giant. Okay. Uh, Mikhail, tell, tell the final answer. The final answer is big friendly giant. The final answer is big friendly giant, uh, says Mikhailesh. Let's show the answer slide. Big friendly giant it is. They pick up a point to move slightly ahead in the tiebreaker. Let's go back and ask the team from PSBB Tinagar their question and see if they can tie this quiz once more. Let's show you question, tiebreaker question number one. Who washed, who uh, is sure on the see. island of Lilliput when his ship, the Antelope, sings at the start of the book about his travels? And your time starts now. travel. The final answer is Galiba. Final answer, Galiba. Your final answer is final Galiba. From the book, Galiba Travels by Jonathan. Okay, let's take a look at the answer slide. Galiba, it is very, very nice. And that brings us to the end of the second tiebreaker as well. Both these teams have not given a single quarter. They're locked at the same scores. They were on 16 apiece at the end of all eight specialized topics and the two mystery boxes. We have had two tiebreakers so far and they have maxed all the four questions in that tiebreaker. So in order to break this tie between two equally good teams, and it pains my heart to break this tie because one way or the other, we're going to have to do it. One team can only go ahead into the knockouts. We are going to play a question that is called closest to the bull. The bull, of course, meaning bull's eye. I will be asking you one question common to both the teams. What you will have to do is you will have to tell me your guesses as a team, as a final answer to the same question. And that is absolutely fine. You don't have, uh, you can discuss, you can do whatever you want. And the answer that you give, it will be a number. The team which is closest to the actual number, the accurate number, wins and goes ahead. Sachin Tendulkar is perhaps the most iconic cricketer ever to play for India and not just India, perhaps the whole world. Over the course of his career, he racked up incredible records, including a mind-boggling 100 international hundreds and tons of other batting records. I want you to tell me a guess as to what was the total number of runs that Sachin Tendulkar scored in one day internationals over the course of his career and your time starts now i think it is 18000 something what do you think okay uh, okay what round number 18 18 some number of 10 what do you guys? Last five seconds? 18,900. Okay. 18,900. Final. So your final answer is 18,900. All that? All right. I have locked it. Please bring T Nagar back into the lobby, back into the call. The question that was asked to PSBB Nungam Bakkam is the same question that I'm going to ask to you. Your question is this. Sachin Tendulkar has been perhaps the most iconic cricketer who has ever played not only for India, but perhaps all over the world. Over the course of an incredible career, he has racked up many records in batting, such as a mind-boggling 100 international hundreds 
and a ton of other statistics as well. Your question for today is this. Closest to the real number, what is the total number of runs that Sachin Tendulkar scored in international one-day international matches over the course of his career? Let me repeat. The total number of runs scored by Sachin Tendulkar in one-day international matches in his career. And your time starts now. It'll be close to, I think, 11,100. No, no, no. 11,000. Not 11,000. Maybe it'll be like... No, maybe. No, no, no. He scored way too many hundreds for that. So it'll be like... Are you sure? Yeah, 18,000. No, 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 not 18,000. Just keep it at 18,000. It's the first guess. Just, just go with the flow. Last five seconds. Yes, okay. Uh, our final answer is 18,000. Okay, okay. 18, uh, yes, uh, okay. 18,000. 18, yeah, 18,000. 18, 18, final Eight. answer. Final answer. Okay, your final answer is 18,000. They say. The answer given by your opponents, which was Nungam Bhaktam, was 18,900. So both of you were hovering around the same figure. The correct answer is 18,426. Yes. The difference between your answer, PSBB Nungam Bhaktam, and the correct number by a quick guesstimate is 474. The difference between PSBB T Nagar's answer and the real answer is 426. The closest team to the bull today is PSBB Senior Secondary School T Nagar Chennai, who will go on and win this knockout. <laughs> My commiserations to the boys from PSBB Nungambakkam Chennai. You come second, but in my book, you are equally champions because I have rarely seen a team who is as confident and as jovial as the boys from PSBB Senior Secondary School Nungambakkam Chennai. For now, this is me, Megasham Shirodkar, signing off from Smartacus 2022. Thank you, good evening, and God bless. Thank you. Thank you.